false Christs and false prophets. And I keep telling you, the signs and miracles from my adversaries as well as from my servants side on earth will increase, for many false Christs and prophets will arise on behalf of the prince of darkness in order to refute the teachings of my rightful servants. In order to cast doubt on their miracles and prophesies and to plunge people into ever greater darkness. Yet the false prophets miracles will only aim to increase earthly power and wealth, they will not perform deeds of love. Works will develop which are claimed to have been accomplished with supernatural strength, although they can only be described as an accumulation of material goods, thus they also betray the one who is lord over matter. True miracles, however, are works of compassion for suffering and frail humanity. True miracles are obvious effects of strength from above. And true miracles can only be performed by those who work as rightful messengers of my word on earth, who profess me and my name before the world and try to awaken and revive the belief in me. Those who proclaim to people in my name what is about to happen to them are indeed true prophets. And I have chosen them because they combine the proclamation of the word with evidence of the strength of faith in order to make people aware which strength and which spirit works through my representatives. For many false prophets will arise in the end and try to confuse people by performing miracles. My adversary will use the same methods and he will find it easy to mislead people because he does not announce a decline but only ever promises earthly good living standards and earthly progress. And his miracles will consist of emphasizing this earthly progress, since his miracles will be humanly fascinating material developments and because his prophesy will be of a future of affluence, honor and earthly success, a world of economic development and earthly perfection. Every such prophecy receives attention, thereby diverting humanity's attention ever further from what is genuine and true, which is proclaimed to them by my representatives on earth. That people are approaching the end, that no amount of material possessions can save them from the downfall they will indisputably approach if they do not believe my words but rather believe those who are influenced by the Prince of Darkness who indeed also perform miracles with his strength, who are powerful on earth because they have subjected themselves to him, but whose works can always be recognized. For they do not express love, no help for needy fellow human beings can be recognized therein, even though they also use my words, even though they hide behind my name in order to be accepted as true prophets. Where love does not prevail my spirit cannot be found, and neither will there be miracles performed nor prophetic words spoken, but my adversary's activity will be clearly noticeable who, in the last days, will try anything to disperse my small flock and gain it for himself. The time of the end has come, therefore take notice of everything I tell you so that you will learn to differentiate between genuine and false between light and works of deception, between truth and untruth, so that you will not fall into the hands of the one who wants to corrupt you. Amen.